Hello, for those who don't know me, my name is Lizzie. I am the Youth Coordinator for Dairy Diocese and I'm also the designated person to contact if you have any queries about the Pope John Paul II Award. For those who have watched the launch video, I'm just here to give you an updated version of what you can expect throughout this year with your award. We've had to make new adjustments to life after living in lockdown and this year hopefully you will be able to have both a blended learning of things online and in your parish and local community. So what was added during lockdown was an online element which you can take part in to receive some of your hours. There will be a full online programme which you can tune into on the Dairy Youth Instagram starting Monday the 13th of September at 7pm. We will have various courses and programmes you can join throughout the year to gain both parish and social hours. But online can only account for 50% of your award. The other 50% must be completed in your own parish and community. It's great now that we can back to our parishes and communities to help them in any way that we can. If you haven't already, you can click to sign up or you can also find your parish contacts from your school leader or from the QR code in the launch video. If you have any other questions or need any other help, please message me on the Dairy Youth social media pages or contact me by email which you'll be able to see at the end of the video. I'm so excited to meet you all and have the best year doing your award. The award is a great way to gain experience, explore your faith and I would encourage everyone to try and take all the opportunities given to them. I would also encourage you all to get involved in a course or one of the diocesan courses to meet new friends, learn more about your own faith and also gain some hours for your award. Finally, I'm going to just finish what Pope Francis says at the start of his letter to all young people. Christ is alive, he is our hope, and in a wonderful way, he brings youth to our world. And everything he touches becomes young, new, and full of life. The very first words then, I would like to say to every young Christian, Christ is alive and he wants you to be alive.